So welcome everybody to this polo line coverage of the final and subsidiary final of the La Emma 8 goal here at Beaufort Polo Club. I'm Rupert Lewis and I'll be commentating both games for you this afternoon after a little break away from commentating for polo line. Um, but we've got two teams out here today, both of which had a pretty hard route to the final, both losing one game each. Um, in black for today, we have A.W. Jenkinson at number one, Katie Jenkinson. At number two, Henry Smith. At number three, So the two umpires for today, George Deverell and Nico Antonori. As you see, Christian Chavez of A.W. Jenkinson there just stick a balling as we get ready for the off. I think we've got all players bar Luke Tomlinson, who's just mounting up here to my left. Uh, he'll be on board and then we'll be ready to get underway. So the two lineups for today then, starting off with A.W. Jenkinson at number one, Katie Jenkinson, zero goals. At number two, Henry Smith off two goals. At number three, Johnny Coddington off three goals. And at back, Christian Chavez on three goals. This A.W. Jenkinson team, they won the first eight goal of the season at Sirencester Park with a different team. Actually, Charlie Walton, who faces up against them today, has been replaced by Johnny Coddington. So that might add a bit of spice to the list. And we will move on to looking at the DWF side for today, playing in white. As we mentioned, Charlie Walton made the switch from A.W. Jenkinson to playing with DWF. But at number one, Archie Fuller on zero goals. Great young player, definitely one to keep an eye on. At number two, Stefan Grosch, minus one. Charlie Walton, previously mentioned, playing number three. And at back in the captain, the great Luke Tomlinson. So he'll definitely be one to keep an eye on. He'll be commanding the troops from the back for DWF. Playing in white, A.W. Jenkinson playing in black. Two umpires, George Deverell and Nico Antonori. And we will be off in just a moment. What is a beautiful day here at Beaufort Polo Club. Uh, the Beaufort number one looking in fine fettle. Finally got some polo going around the country. Hopefully we'll have more to come in the coming weeks. And Polo Line doing a great job of bringing it all to you at home. So I hope you enjoy our coverage today. The La Emma 8 goal coming up very shortly. So here we go then, ready for the start of the La Emma Polo Manor 2020. You can see the Polo Line 
social media platforms there. Get on, get on and give them a follow. Uh, you can get hold of me here in the track. Send us your questions, anything you want to know. We'll try and answer it as the game goes on. Looks like we'll be starting from a hit here at on the left-hand side. Looks like A.W. Jenkinson are lining up to take the hit in from the 60-yard line. Johnny Collington there with Christian Chavez having a chat, trying to make a plan of attack. Righto, so play is cooled and it's Christian Chavez that brings the ball into play. Goes one left under his neck out towards Johnny Coddington on the far side in that familiar black and yellow helmet for those of us playing up here and miles up north where he comes from. But he winds up now and drives it, tops it a little bit. It's going to fall short to Luke Tomlinson. Luke Tomlinson's going to come on to this one. Christian Chavez, Henry Smith both coming back here for A.W. Jenkinson. Luke Tomlinson beaten to it by Henry Smith. Henry Smith's done really well there. Take it away from Luke Tomlinson, but not in the eyes of the umpire as they blow the whistle. Nico Antonori explaining it's going to be a spot only in favour of White Luke Tomlinson and I feel he has been hardly done by there if he's lost the ball he should be going forward for a four but they disagree and it's going to be a spot penalty what do I know so Luke Tomlinson he's going to hit this one first time he's got the horse nice and collected no he's going to go forward Charlie Walton will bring the ball into play one tap these two, Charlie Walton playing a lot of Luke's old horses, got a lot of his horses from Luke Tomlinson. He's very well mounted, Charlie Walton. He goes forward, leaves the ball now for Luke Tomlinson. Luke Tomlinson takes one tap, winds up, drives it straight down the middle, straight down the middle it is, waiting for Charlie Walton. Is At the back is Johnny Coddington. Charlie Walton can't find the ball at all. Looks like he's trodden on it and fouled. So as you see here, the pass from Luke Tomlinson towards Charlie Walton. Couldn't quite pick it up on the near side first time. Henry Smith, Charlie Walton just lost track of it there and he's trodden on top of the ball. Back in defence now goes Luke Tomlinson. Tail back and away to the boards on the far side. This one's going to be picked up though by Christian Chavez. No, it's Charlie Walton trying to turn it around on the far side boards. As we mentioned, Charlie Walton won the first eight goal at Sirencester Park with A.W. Jenkinson. But here he is setting off to goals. He leaves it now for Luke Tomlinson. Luke Tomlinson inside 60 yards. Takes one tap underneath his pony's neck. Can't quite straighten it up. Now he can. He puts down the afterburners, but he's beaten to it hard and fast now by Christian Chavez. Christian Chavez under his pony's neck out towards the boards on the near side. Down the near side boards he goes. Christian Chavez has got the run on Luke Tomlinson, but he's got the cover with the right off. Beautiful near side backhand from Luke Tomlinson. One of the best backs in the world, definitely in England, with a beautiful near side backhand of his own, though, is Henry Smith. Straight down the boards up towards the halfway line. Stefan Grosch goes back in defence. Tail backhand coming up from him. Makes a beautiful little connection. It's going to find its way, though, to Katie Jenkinson. She's great out in front here. Katie Jenkinson, I wouldn't put it past her to score. I've cursed her. Little open backhand here from Charlie Walton. Back into the centre of the field off a horse to Luke Tomlinson. He takes one check. He's got it underneath him. Can't quite reach back and get it. Horse gives him a bit of a helping hand. But coming through to take away is Henry Smith. Henry Smith goes round the corner. Charlie Walton hooking hard on the elbow by the looks of things. But he's still going through Henry Smith. Luke Tomlinson in front. And Charlie Walton with the hook and he goes around in front of Christian Chavez and it looks like a foul. So Luke Tomlinson just getting across a bit in front of Henry Smith's horse initially. That could be what the foul is going to be for. Luke Tomlinson just getting a little bit untidy in front of the horse of Henry Smith. Charlie Walton then goes to play the ball. There's no advantage for A.W. Jenkinson. And it will be a 5B to the black shirts of A.W. Jenkinson. So, Christian Chavez takes one tap. Now looks down the centre of the field where he's got Johnny Connington on a fly. A little chestnut mare by the Lovelocks breeder, Charlie Hambry. Little open backhand now from Luke Tomlinson. Out towards the boards. It's picked up now by Connington on that horse of 
the Love Locks breed. I don't know whether he's bought it or he's trying it, but it looks like it's going very well for him so far as he drives it now into the center of the field for Katie Jenkinson with the open back and she straightens up beautifully off the horse of Luke Tomlinson and he takes it away into the darkest depths of ground number one here and over his own back line for a safety 60. So he brings it back into play here. Charlie Walton on the back line for DWF. He's got Henry Smith waiting for him. Teammate from last week up against him today. He's now got Luke Tomlinson coming back behind him. Now calls him to leave it. Charlie Walton sets sail down the center of the field. Luke Tomlinson just setting up on a better angle for himself with Coddington waiting. Luke still keeping it close at the moment. Winds up now and puts it down the right-hand side towards Charlie Walton waiting there for him is Henry Smith. Gets a big bump on him, Henry Smith, but Charlie Walton's done very well to keep hold of the ball there. Johnny Coddington goes for the hook. Charlie Walton down the far side boards. Henry Smith in front of him. Coddington behind him. Gets the little hook and takes it away. Luke Tomlinson, though, opens his shoulders and drives it through a big jumble of players. He's going to make it to the front. It is for Charlie Walton. Just gets hooked out of it on the near side as Coddington goes round the corner. Coddington will check up and try and come back inside here, which he's done nicely. And now he's opened up the rest of the field for himself. Charlie Walton, though, has hit it straight to him. Charlie Walton goes straight across. He's got plenty of time to get through there. He's in on goal here. Charlie Walton, this could be our first goal of the game. Puts it across, going for the cut shot. Charlie Walton gets the first one on the boards for DWF. One goal to nil. So I'm joined here in the van for a brief chat with uh, Max Hutchinson, who is involved in the La Emma Polo tournament with Silvertown Properties. Max, how are we getting on? Not too bad, Rupert. How are you? Very well. Good to be back here on a beautiful day for a good eight goal tournament. So how was your run in the tournament? How did you guys get on? Uh, we didn't get on too well, unfortunately, Rupert. We ended up beating Luke Tomlinson's team, who's playing the final today, obviously. But we got kicked out of the semis. So, so what you're saying is if Luke Tomlinson wins this, you beat them, which makes you the best team in the tournament. That's exactly what I'm saying, Rupert. <laughs> and the field here at both, it looks very nice, the field from this angle. It's fantastic, Rupert. Playing really well this year. Um, Vlodic's doing, Vlodic and the team here are doing a fantastic job and really nice for the horses and just great to play on. And you played at the Beaufort for a lot of years? Yeah, this is our 15th year. So we've loved every year of it. And you won the Lama before? We've won the Lama before, yeah, with my uncle Raymond and my dad, Stephen Hutchinson. So a couple of, couple of old legends there. And uh, what have you got on coming up? Have you got more co tournaments coming up here at the Beaufort? We've got quite a lot on, yep. So the Tangle's coming up next week. I'm playing with myself, Dave Allen, Ollie Jones, and Dom David, the Tafia Mafia, which is really good fun. One of my favorite <laughs> levels to play. And got the eight goal in Sarancester next week as well. So pretty busy. Very good. So who's your money on out here then? It's going to be a very good game. This Cheshire team's fantastic. They're a bit of a juggernaut in the logo. They win various tournaments, but I think Luke and Charlie, really good players, and I think they can do it if they play well. So here is Luke Tomlinson. He picks the ball up at the back. Number four for DWF. Tatens around the corner. Charlie Walton still there. Charlie Walton looks to go inside. He's got Luke Tomlinson waiting behind him. He'll be instructing the troops. Stefan Grosh is in open space up at the front. Luke Tomlinson's seen him and pumps it straight towards him. Stefan Grosh, no, it's Archie Fuller on the offside. Can't quite pick it up on the bounce, but Luke Tomlinson's going to be there. Always well positioned, Luke Tomlinson. You can tell he's so fast, but he's going to th outthink everyone out here today if they let him. They're going to have to get the pressure on him early. Luke Tomlinson, big neck shot. Comes off the horse. He's going to go out over the boards on the far side does it know it stays in play Charlie Walton Luke Tomlinson on the far side Charlie Walton trying to work a block in front of him give Luke some space that's exactly what he's done back to the ball he goes Charlie Christian Chavez though with the steel he's got this this beautiful little pony called Mia he winds it up over the halfway line he goes he asks it to set sail but Charlie Walton's got plenty of run on a horse called Lolita an English thoroughbred comes in with the hook gets a great hook on Christian Chavez over the top of the ball here comes Coddington up towards the 60 yard line he goes being chased hard by Stefan Grosh Luke Tomlinson with the backhand out of the air doesn't quite take it away from Coddington Charlie Walton in front and the whistle has gone as it no it's still there with Henry Smith Henry Smith inside 30 yards plays it under the horse of Luke Tomlinson looking for a goal shot now Luke will take the ball away Luke out towards the 60 yard line on the near side boards at speed looking for a bit of space for his team DWF to get out of danger Charlie Walton though with a great block on Johnny Coddington back into the center of the field goes Tomlinson Winds it up down the near side boards. Off goes Archie Fuller. Big bump coming together with Christian Chavez. No, he avoids the hook. Can't quite pick up the ball as well, though. And here is Stefan Grosh. Stefan Grosh picks it up on the offside. Underneath the horse of Christian Chavez. Neat little flick on the near side by Chavez. And he's 
ridden hard by Stefan Gross. He's done well there, Stefan Gross. On the near side he goes. He's done a, what a great steal that was. Couldn't quite pick it out the second time. And the foul hook, it was an accident from Stefan Gross. I'm sure he's just got a little bit overexcited with the great steal on the near side. Minus one on three. You've got to love to see it. So here comes Chavez. Chavez out towards the right-hand side. Johnny Collington, one tap down the center. He's going to look for somebody downfield. It's going to be Chavez out to the right-hand side. I think it is Chavez on the bounce. Can't quite pick it up as the ball was underneath his pony's horse. Now here's Charlie Walton on that horse, Lolita. He's got a lot of run. He's going to get around the outside of A.W. Jenkinson here. As he know, Collington's got enough time to get in front. And the whistle has gone. No, he's asking for it, but he's not going to get it. Collington now does this out. The whistle has now gone. Are they going to come to the third man? Third man on the side today is Dom Lodge. Luckily for him, his job's made a lot easier by having Polo Line here with the replays. I'm not asked Max whether it was a foul because he won't know. But it looks like they're taking it forward up towards the 5B in favour of the white shirts of DWF. It is a 5B hit from the centre in favour of DWF. Luke Tomlinson will tee this one up. So here goes Charlie Walton. Charlie Walton will take this one. Out to the right-hand side he goes. One, two taps. Luke Tomlinson's in behind. Luke now winds up for a big next shot. Right down the center of the field it goes. Charlie Walton sets sail. Can he get around the outside of Katie Jenkinson? No. Back in defense goes Christian Chavez. A big open backhand. Luke Tomlinson's there on the near side. Misses the near side backhand. It's a rare occurrence from Luke Tomlinson. Luke Tomlinson waiting at the back, waiting for Henry Smith to come through, but he's lost out to Charlie Walton. Charlie Walton turns the ball around the corner. He's hooked out of it again by... Henry Smith, it's going to be a great battle, this Charlie Walton. I wonder whether there's any bad blood there, having been switched out. I'm sure he'd love to beat them. He's put the afterburners on here, trying to go around the outside of Christian Chavez. Hasn't quite managed it that time. Little open backhand tails missed by Chavez. Good block from Coddington on Sh Walton, and it's brought away by Henry Smith. Out towards Nico Antonori, the umpire. Onto the near side boards he goes. Henry Smith at speed. He's cooled off it now by Christian Chavez, who's left the ball behind for Coddington. Has now got it, Chavez. He's got Stefan Grosch behind him. Charlie Walton in front. Big neck shot down the center of the field by Christian Chavez. The first hooter's gone. Tom Tomlinson takes one tap, looks up, doesn't hit it first time. He's got no one in front. Henry Smith comes back. Now he's had a neck shot out to the near side boards. It's going to be running out of time here for a goal shot. Christian Chavez just plays the percentage play out towards the near side boards. Round the corner he goes out over the boards. And that will be that for the first Chaka. I think they won't have time. And that'll be the end of Chaka 1. So, Max, some good horses out here today. Charlie Walton, we know, is very well mounted. As I mentioned before, a lot of Luke Tomlinson's old horses. Some very good uh, horses out here today, Rupert. I'm looking forward to seeing one of Charlie's called Carolina that you might recognize. Luke Tomlinson played her for many years, including in the Queen's Cup and the Gold Cup. And he's also got another dark bay mare called Medusa that used to belong to Claire Tomlinson and Mark Tomlinson played it for years, including Gold Cup, Queen's Cup and Coronation Cup. So some great horses on display. I lose track of Luke Tomlinson's horses. They've got so many. They do. Are we, are we giving you a best playing pony? I don't even know whether there's a best playing pony prize. Should we just choose one anyway? Maybe we'll do that. We'll choose, a, we'll choose a first playing pony. I'm going to give it to the one that Nico Antonori is riding. <laughs> or maybe George Deverell, one of the umpires. Yep, Here, four chuckers. <laughs> Here is Nico Antonori. He's a great guy. So then the scores, minus one, uh, one, one goal to DWF and zero goals to A.W. Jenkinson. And we'll be back after the break.
que se pase a que este evento sea maravilloso. And we're back, ready for the second chucker of the La Emma Polo Tournament 2020. It is 1-0 in favor of the white shirts of DWF up against the black shirts of A.W. Jenkinson here today. You got to size that horse that uh, Christian Chavez is riding. Out there, number four in black. Looks like a steeplechaser. Um, we'll cover some ground on that. Anyway, it's Katie Jenkinson, she's great out in front with the ball. Definitely one to keep an eye on. There he is, Chavez. Look at the size of that thing. But it will be a knock-in here from the left-hand side. So with these new rules, there's no throw-ins. There's just a hit from the 60-yard line at the beginning of every chucker. It will turn it between the teams, whoever starts within the first chucker, then it's all turn it from there on. Here goes Charlie Walton. A little shot out to the right-hand side looking for Luke Tomlinson. Luke Tomlinson takes a check. Charlie Walton goes forward, but he's covered well by Henry Smith. Henry Smith looks like he's trying a horse of marks today, so we'll see how that goes. Maybe that'll be a sale. But here goes Luke Tomlinson. Out into the inside of the field he goes. Winds up now, drives it long down the center of the field. Charlie Walton's on a flyer and he's found himself in a bit of space. Johnny Coddington goes back, gets the bump a bit wrong. Could be in trouble there, but Charlie Walton's got a great goal shot. Inside the 30 goes at lope and backhand, will it? Oh, he's just got enough on it, but not quite enough. And it rolls out over the backhand, I back line. I thought Cunnington could be in trouble there. He's got to bump a little bit wrong on Charlie Walton. If that was me, I would have been squealing like a piggy and asking for the whistle. But it's brought back into play by Christian Chavez. Christian Chavez doesn't quite get the hold of it that he wanted. It goes across the 30-yard line. Back goes Coddington. Little tail back and into the center of the field. Walton goes back in defense, but it's picked up by Chavez. Beautiful long drive round the outside of Stefan Gross. Charlie Walton, though, back in defense for the white shots of DWF. But here goes Chavez. I told you he was on a... Always oh, on a flyer, but he couldn't quite get round Charlie Walton the first time. Here goes Katie Jenkinson. Luke Tomlinson comes back in defense, picks this one up first time, takes it towards his own back line. He's gone for the big tail across the goal. What would his mum say? Never do that. But here goes Charlie Walton. He's going to pick it up inside the 30 onto the board. She, he goes, takes one check, needs a bit of help in front. Luke Tomlinson's asked for it first time. Charlie Walton kindly obliges. And now Stefan Grosch has set sail in front. Here he goes, Stefan Grosch on the near side. Can't quite pick it up. I'm sorry, it's Archie Fuller. He's got the same hat. Here goes Johnny Coddington. Johnny Coddington on a horse by a famous gelding now of Lucy Taylor's. Was a stallion called Dublin but it's picked up by Luke Tomlinson. Luke Tomlinson, he's got Coddington in front. Charlie Walton looking for the block on Coddington. He's done a good job getting that. He's got Christian Chavez now to deal with. He's being blocked by Stefan Grosch. Luke Tomlinson with a bit of space up towards the 60 yard line, pumps this one down inside the 30. It could be going narrowly wide. It is narrowly wide, but it looks like it could have stayed in play. It has stayed in play. Coddington clears with a next shot out towards the boards on the far side into the middle of nowhere, the deepest, darkest depths of the field. And it's, going to go over the back line. No, it's picked up by Christian Chavez on the steeplechaser. Now picked up by Walton. Walton inside 30 yards, nicked by Coddington. He's done well to take the hook, Coddington. And it's picked up by Walton under his pony's neck now. DWF flicking between the two possessions here. AW Jenkinson and DWF, but it's picked up by Chavez. Chavez, go on. Let it rip. No, he's hit just a short pump out to the left-hand side. Stefan Grosch has absolutely smoked Coddington and arrived off. It's picked up by Tomlinson on the near side, and he'll turn this one around. In defense is Chavez. Chavez using that big horse to block the goal. He goes to pick it up, but he can't quite get there. Sprint to Sacra goes back in defense. On the near side, Christian Chavez. Big neck shot coming up. Doesn't quite get a hold of that one. Back towards the near side. Backhand goes Walton. Walton just drags it around. Back under control. He's done well. There's been a sandwich, and there will be a whistle in favor of DWF. Walton looks like he could have been hurt a little bit there. We'll have to look at the replay, but I think it was a sandwich uh, in favor, it'll be a spot penalty in favor of White. See, Walton can't quite get around the corner first time, does well to drag it back and keep control of the ball. Here comes Henry Smith. Walton's got Chavez on his left-hand side. Smith comes in for the hook and just catches the back of Charlie Walton's horse. So it'll be a spot penalty, I think, in favor of White. Sorry, White are going the short way towards the scoreboard, so it looks like it'll be a penalty too. Luke Tomlinson looks like he's opted to take the spot.
So Charlie Walton just taps this one through and extends the lead for DWF. Two goals to nil. Charlie Walton onto a little grey horse from Hugo Taylor. Little super courtier. As the ball will be dropped down now on the 60-yard line. Here goes Chavez. Chavez still on the big horse. Drives it down the center, looking for his man Coddington in the center of the field. Katie Jenkinson's asked to move out the way. <laughs> Deppen Grosh wears that one in the back of the head. But it's pill pull now to sprint to Sacker and, Ch and Christian Chavez. But on the near side goes Walton. Under his pony's neck, out towards the boards. Nico Antonori nearly kicks it, but it's going to be kept under control by Charlie Walton. Coddington comes in with a big bump. He's done well to take that away. Under his pony's neck goes Chavez. Sorry for any language you might have picked up there on the cameras, but away goes Walton. Out towards the 60-yard line on the far side, being hard-pressed by Katie Junkinson. She's done well to take the ball away from the three-goaler there. Coddington with a beautiful neck shot in towards the goal, and it's going to go wide. Walton will stop on it. Goes left, takes it into a little bit of open space. Luke Tomlinson has the block. Walton. Just takes a little bit of a rain check. Looks for an option downfield. Goes back into a bit of space towards his own goal. Winds up. Looks to hit it long towards Stefan Grosch and Archie Fuller. But this one is going to be picked up by Coddington. Coddington. Now it's Stefan Grosch. Stefan Grosch out in front. Up over the halfway line he goes. Can't quite pick it up the second time, but Chavez is back in defence. Chavez just looks behind him, waits for Coddington to get the block, and now he'll turn it round. He looks downfield for his options. Katie Jenkinson's the furthest forward. Coddington goes out to the right, as does Henry Smith. They need to give him a few more options here. They're all down the same side. Now he pumps it to the left, and it's going to be picked up by Luke Tomlinson. Not quite enough help in front of him there for A.W. Jenkinson and Christian Chavez. Luke Tomlinson fakes the backhand and goes round the corner. Trodden on the ball himself. Luke, what are you doing? Wakey, wakey. Here he goes. Picked up by Charlie Walton. Charlie Walton on the grey. Now he's got a bit of space. Just trying to find a little bit of time and a little bit of space in which to release the ball. It's come to a standstill. Luke Tomlinson will pump this one free of danger away for DWF up towards the halfway line. Back in defence goes Archie Fuller. Archie Fuller up over the halfway line. Looks for a big neck shot. No, tries to straighten it up. Doesn't get a hold of that one. Ball looks partially buried here, but Stefan Grosch digs that one out. And now Katie Jenkinson will pick it up. No, it's Chavez. Big tail backhand across the field for Henry Smith. Henry Smith on this horse of Mark Tomlinson's up over the halfway line. He'll go. Charlie Walton back in defense. He's got Tomlinson behind him. Walton in front of him. It's going to have to be a solo effort here from Henry Smith. He picks it up on the offside. Charlie Walton stops it in its tracks, and it'll be picked up by Luke Tomlinson. Luke Tomlinson around the corner. Katie Jenkinson in front. Smith comes back. Chavez goes for the big hook on the steeplechase. It doesn't come off. Luke Tomlinson drives it up over the halfway line. Walton sets sail on the grey. Look at the two Tordesias out in front. Here goes Walton round the corner of Coddington. Walton leaves the ball behind. He asks for a whistle. He's not going to get it because he missed the ball. Now it's a tail backhand out towards the far side. This one will be picked up by Chavez. Chavez, this can't be long on the clock. 56 seconds. Timing down. Up over the halfway line he goes. Luke Tomlinson back in defence. Chavez hit it straight to him. He asked for the whistle. Not sure what he's asking for. He's hit it straight to him. Here goes Luke Tomlinson back in defence. Big open backhand out over the boards. And the play will be counted down eight seconds. They'll drop the ball and we'll be off once more. Henry Smith and Johnny Coddington both there over this set play for A.W. Jenkinson. Nico Antonori there, umpiring with George Devil. George Devil had a little bit of a stint in the high goal, I believe. Um, substitute, I can't remember who he substituted for, but he was definitely a substitute for someone in the high goal last year. Nico Antonori, well known for being one of the nicest guys in polo. Um, so two good umpires to have out there. It's been a pretty good game so far. Two goals to nil, but there's been plenty of up and down action as Chavez brings this one back into play. 27 seconds left on the clock. Short pass towards Coddington. Coddington. On a bit of a jumpy one, but he's trying to keep it under control. Not bad for a guy with one eye. Under control he goes. Inside the 30. Johnny Coddington w running his way towards goal. Nearly jumped out the front, but he's inside 20 yards. Johnny Coddington, a great solo effort. He's got Luke Tomlinson in front, who takes it away. The whistle goes, and they will have a penalty two right in front of the goal with which to finish checker number two. This could be the first goal on the board for A.W. Jenkinson. So the whistle goes, Luke Tomlinson came around in front of Henry Smith, didn't really have an option, turned right around in front of it as a pony club foul. He would have got that foul blown in Jorix, Luke. 
Uh, but this one's going to be taken by Chavez. The number four in black. He taps it through, and that'll be the first goal on the board for A.W. Jenkinson. The checker number two will end two goals to one, and we'll be back after the break. No, they are still playing. 15 seconds to play. Sorry, I thought that was the first bell. So Luke Tomlinson's got 15 seconds to get this down there and get that two-goal advantage back before half-time. Drives this one down towards the halfway line. Christian Chavez under his pony's neck, can't pick it up. Walton's there. He'll look for the back. Oh, cool, that was nearly a big crash. Henry Smith thought he had the line, but the Hooter has now gone. Now it's picked up by Walton. Chuckle will finish, and it will be two goals to one in favour of DWF heading into the break. Thinking about polo in Dubai is paradise or oasis because you come to, a, you come to Dubai, it's a desert and you see that how uh, Dubai in the last uh, 48 years, how they converted the desert into an oasis and having Al Habtur Polo Resort or the polo clubs in Dubai here in the middle of the desert, it's like you don't see this anywhere in Dubai. And I want to welcome you all to have a little bit of a look around at our club and basically to see the facilities that we have, like the jumping arenas, the sticky ball field here behind me, the stables, polo fields, and all the services that we provide here at the club. We have 10 barns of 52 stables, in total 520 stables. We have all kinds of activities. We have polo tournaments that we all already know. Then we have Joe Jumping, Dressage.
So we are back. The la second final, second half, sorry, of the La Emma Polo tournament here at the Bofa Eight Goal Tournament, the final for 2020, about to start. DWF playing in white, AW Jenkinson playing in black. Two goals to one at the moment in favor of DWF. Quick run through of the teams. If you've just joined us at number one, Archie Fuller, Stefan Gross, Charlie Walton and Luke Tomlinson. That's the white shirts of DWF. And A.W. Jenkinson, Katie Jenkinson, Henry Smith, Christian Chavez and Johnny Coddington. So it is Christian Chavez, the number four in black, who brings it back into play. Out towards the left-hand side it goes. Luke Tomlinson near side backhand. Picked up and stopped well by Charlie Walton. He's on a humper by the looks of things. But on the near side goes... Luke Tomlinson. Luke Tomlinson loses out now to Charlie Walton. Charlie Walton on the near side, plays it back to Tomlinson. Tomlinson takes it back in defence first time. He's going to look for a way to turn this around. He goes to fake left. Will he go back to the right? He will if he gets the block from Walton, which is exactly what he's got. Now he goes back to the right, Tomlinson. Tomlinson waits, patiently looking for an option in front of him. Walton's there with the block. Chavez goes back in defence for, for A.W. Jenkinson, but it's a beautiful drive from Tomlinson down towards Archie Fuller. Back in defence goes Katie Jenkinson. Underneath her pony's neck, round the corner she goes. Picks it up beautifully over the 60-yard line, but it's Archie Fuller with the near side backhand Coddington turns looks for the open backhand Walton's there thought there might be a whistle but not this time Luke Tomlinson now the whistle goes no idea what for we'll have a look at the replay Here goes Chavez. Chavez, the 5B in favour of A.W. Jenkinson, played forward towards Luke Tomlinson. Luke Tomlinson takes one look behind. Big tail backhand out towards the boards on the far side. Out goes Walton. Walton under pressure from Christian Chavez. Out towards the boards again goes Chavez. Picks it up on the offside. A great battle going on between these two, and this one's been won by Walton. Now on the open side, but he's got a big bump in the back by Christian Chavez, and the whistle goes. Looked pretty nasty. I think Walton could have got a head in the back. So you see the replay here. Charlie Walton just turning the ball around. He's got the ball in front of him. He's got it under control. Christian Chavez goes to ride the foul. Whack. Horse's head straight in the middle of the back. Charlie Walton loses out. I think it'll be a spot penalty in favor of White. And it is. So Luke Tomlinson and Charlie Walton doing well here to keep A.W. Jenkinson at bay. Luke Tomlinson, obviously very experienced. Great for a young guy like Charlie Walton to play with Luke Tomlinson. I'm sure it gets pretty loud and there's plenty of abuse, but it's all good, constructive stuff. As Luke Tomlinson drives this one down the far right-hand side, Walton goes to pick it up, loses out now to Chavez. Chavez having a good game himself. He wants to get A.W. Jenkinson back level here in the third chucker. Walton goes through the play, doesn't quite manage to pick it up, and it's picked up on the near side by Coddington. Coddington plays it forward to Charlie Walton. Near side backhand into the horse of Coddington. Luke Tomlinson comes up, and he's picked it up now with Archie Fuller going forward. He's going to hit it to him, and he has. Luke Tomlinson sets Archie Fuller sail up into the 60-yard line. He goes. Archie Fuller picks it up first time inside the 30 Archie Fuller under his ponies net hooked out by Cody, uh, by Chavez but it's Charlie Walton coming through at speed he can't pick it up Luke Tomlinson now though will fight with Coddington Coddington Picks it up under his pony's neck, fighting hard with Luke Tomlinson. Luke Tomlinson on the near side, steals it away from Coddington. He's out towards the 40-yard line. Will he hit the backhand? No. Walton comes in, asks for the block from Tomlinson. He gets it. Luke Charlie Walton turns it back inside Christian Chavez. Inside the 30-yard line he goes. Coddington comes through and plays the near side backhand. Looked like a foul to me, but apparently not, as Luke Tomlinson turns it around in defense for DWF. Chavez is in front. Tomlinson winds up, shoots towards goal, and that will be a goal on the board for DWF, extending their lead now to three goals to one in favor of the White Shirts. Four minutes and 12 seconds to play here in chucker number three, 3-1. Three
So out to the far left-hand boards they go. Luke Tomlinson turns this one around. Luke Tomlinson on the boards up over the halfway line. Picks it up on the bounce beautifully. Now it falls on the left-hand side. Coming through is Walton. Walton misses out to Chavez. Chavez has it under control. Chavez, round the left-hand side he goes. Looks forward. Luke Tomlinson's back in defence with Henry Smith. Going back for... DWF is Archie Fuller waiting for Chavez is Walton. Chavez now out to the right hand side back on this horse called Mir up over the 60 yard line he goes. Chavez under his pony's neck is a beautiful approach shot got very unlucky as it comes off the horse but it's going to be picked up by Coddington. Coddington round the corner. Walton comes back to hassle him but Coddington's done well to get himself a goal shot hooked out of it by Walton and it's played out towards the far side boards by Luke Tomlinson. Tomlinson picked up now into the corner he goes hard pressed by Coddington the whole time he steals it on the near side round the corner picked up by Tomlinson Tomlinson these guys are changing possession with every second at the moment Coddington comes in meets two on one it's a foul definitely in favor of DWF whether they'll go forward to the 5b or give a spot I think it will come up here to the 5b against Coddington for the foul on Luke Tomlinson we'll have a look at the replay to confirm So as we see here, Chavez fighting hard on the boards with Luke Tomlinson. He wins the play. Coddington comes around the corner, meets two, two on one. Foul in favour of DWF up to the halfway line. So as players go off to change, we hope that Polo is changing here in the UK. News coming this week that we could be looking at the start of the low goal and spectators being allowed to Polo towards the end of the month, which would be very exciting for all of us, I'm sure. Um, but it has been great work from the HBA to get any polo on at all uh, in the last month and a half. So credit goes out to them and credit to everyone else that's been getting involved, playing their polo within the protocols. Uh, it's what keeps the sport going. So for those of you writing into us here at Polo Line, we've got a few shout outs for those watching at home. James Fielding says hello from Great Barrow. James Fielding, based up in Cheshire, runs a great polo school up there. So if you're anywhere in the Chesh Cheshire, Chester, anywhere in that vicinity, James Fielding's your man. Give him a call and no doubt he'll get you kick-started in your polo career. Also, Mark Damian from Malta. Great to hear you all tuning in from around the world. Lucy Darmin as well. Malta. Malta's the place to be to be watching the La Emma Polo Manor. But here we are, live at the field with Charlie Walton, bringing this one forward on a beautiful little chestnut pony up towards the six-yard line he goes. Now he puts the hammer down, goes around the corner of Johnny Coddington. Johnny Coddington up and towards the 30, leaves it now for... Archie Fuller, beautiful next shot towards the goal mouth, but it's taken away by Henry Smith. Henry Smith out towards the boards on the near side. Henry Smith just wants to take control of this one as he waits for a bit of help to come in. Coddington's there. Henry Smith's horse takes a huge leap over the boards. He could be jumping a gate out hunting, but it's out over the boards, is it? No, it's still in play. Coddington now winds up, drives it down the near side boards, looking for his number one, Katie Jenkinson. She's hooked out of it by Archie Fuller. He's called to leave it by Charlie Walton. Charlie Walton takes a big bump. Doesn't quite manage to pick up the ball as well, though, as Henry Smith now sets sail up over the halfway line. Henry Smith drives it down towards the 60 on a fly. Luke Tomlinson goes to the Fooster to try and catch up with him, but it's Henry Smith. Luke Tomlinson goes over the play, as does Katie Jenkinson, as does Archie Fuller, but Charlie Walton picks it up. Back towards his own goal line he goes. Walton on the near side. Luke Tomlinson comes back. Turns the ball around. He's got plenty of space now. Looks to weigh up his options. Out to the left-hand side. Drives it down towards Archie Fuller. Archie Fuller's there. Back in defence goes Smith. Henry Smith, beautiful little open back down. This one's going to be picked up by Chavez. Christian Chavez, little backhand into the horse of Tomlinson, but it's going to fall down kindly for Walton. Charlie Walton, beautiful open backhand. Hits the horse once again of Katie Jenkinson. She's done well to position herself there. Henry Smith on the near side. Doesn't pick it up first time. Neither does Katie Jenkinson. Luke Tomlinson under his pony's neck. Out towards the far side. Near side backhand from Henry Smith. Now it's Coddington. Coddington under his pony's neck, looking for a bit of space, trying to weave away and a path out of danger. He's got Luke Tomlinson pressing him hard. He's got six goals behind him, but he's got his three-goal help from Christian Chavez there also. Coddington, beautiful little Texan tail, the backhand back on himself towards Henry Smith. Back in the center of the field goes Walton on the near side. Not quite the play he wanted. He's given possession back to Henry Smith. Tail backhand back into the goal, but it's picked up now by Stefan Grosh. Stefan Grosh on the boards. T just checks up, does a beautiful little play to take it away from Coddington. But Luke Tomlinson trying to weave a path away as Christian Chavez is there. These two are fighting and it's picked up by Walton. Leaves it now for Tomlinson. 
Down the near side boards goes Walton. Out into the centre of the field. It's struck this time for Archie Fuller. Henry Smith's back in defence. He tries to take it on the near side forward. Should have been a backhand there. Connington does now play the backhand. Walton comes through. Big play. Luke Tomlinson comes through looking for the whistle and gets the whistle. I actually thought the whistle might go fast time. Charlie Walton had a play on the ball there and was fouled by the second man. But Tomlinson does get the whistle. He's, he goes forward up towards the 60. I think this will take them. And it will be a great opportunity for DWF to extend their lead from the penalty spot in favour of Luke Tomlinson. So the replay coming up here, we see Charlie Walton turned quickly, tries to play the ball forward. Doesn't quite get enough on it as to take it away from Chavez. Ball goes back towards Katie Jenkinson. Luke Tomlinson's there. Jenkinson comes across at 90 degrees and they miss out. And now it's a throw-in. So there's me talking for a minute and a half about how it's a definite foul, and now they're throwing the ball in. Well, I suppose harder, easier to make the decision with a replay than it is to uh, make the decision on the field. Anyway, the ball's thrown in. This one's now going to be picked up with Luke Tomlin. So, so he might have not got a foul, but he does get the possession from the line-out. Collington's horse just goes up a little bit, meaning he can't quite get around in time. But here goes Luke Tomlinson. He's now hooked out of it by Collington. Collington goes around the corner. Whistle goes. Luke Tomlinson looks like he's taking a blow to the leg. I think it was a horse's leg on the thigh. It's very sore when that happens. So we hope he's okay. Lucy Taylor has written in to say... Lucy Coddington, sorry, has written in to say, come on, Jenkinson. Um, I'm sure that's uh, a lot of support for them up north. Black shirts of A.W. Jenkinson, very strong in the eight goal. Always play a lot of eight goal. They're always not a team you want to be drawn against. Have we got a whistle here or after weeks of no throw-ins, have we got two in a row? No, they are now going forward. So, speak for a minute about a foul that doesn't happen, and now I don't know what the foul's for. But anyway, it is a foul in favour of White. So, we're hearing it's a foul for a hook on Luke Tomlinson's hand. There's certainly plenty of noise. Um, often we see players making the most of any contact on the hand, but he has got the whistle here. Not saying that's what he did, but we do see it a lot. Anyway, we've got Luke Tomlinson in the centre of the field with Walton. These two will have a chat as Walton takes it out to the right-hand side. Chavez it is that waits. Well, first bell goes. Luke Tomlinson goes down the centre. Walton's going to wind up now. Gets a beautiful strike straight down the guts. Looking for Tomlinson. He's going to have to pick it up on the bounce. It's very congested there. Inside the 60, Coddington will pick this one up. Little open backhand trying to set Henry Smith free on the far side. Henry Smith just goes over the top of it, catches the top of the ball, and it will be Chavez that comes through. Drives it down towards Walton. Walton on the ball on the far side. Takes a big check on a horse called Medusa, but here comes Chavez. Chavez can't quite pick it up either. Now Luke Tomlinson's there. Tail backhand goes over the top of it. It's Tomlinson, and not often he misses a backhand, and the second hooter goes, and that'll end. Checker number three, three goals to one in favour of DWF, and we'll be back with the fourth and final checker very shortly.
pase a ti este evento sea maravilloso. So here we are then, back for the fourth and final chuck of the La Emma Polo Tournament for 2020. Three goals to one at the moment in favour of the white shirts of DWF. Stefan Grosch leading his team to the lead at the moment. Up by two, Luke Tomlinson's got a bit of a stranglehold on this game. Uh, Ava W. Jenkinson just looking for the code to pick the lock. Let's see if they can get a couple of goals back. And who knows, we could end up in an extra chucker. Let's hear your predictions at home. Write into us, let us know your predictions as Charlie Walton takes one tap. Out to the right-hand side he goes, short towards Luke Tomlinson. Christian Chavez goes in back on this horse Mir. She's had plenty of minutes in this final. Down the near side boards it goes, up towards Archie Fuller. Archie Fuller winds up, takes a little short tap. He's done well there to keep it away from Henry Smith. Now he goes to go put the afterburners on and go around him. Henry Smith takes a swipe, can't get a hold of it. In comes... Charlie Walton, picked up now by Coddington, out towards his own back line he goes. Coddington comes round the corner. Back in defence goes Stefan Grosh. Charlie Walton comes in. He's got one behind him, one in front in Coddington. Chavez it is behind. Now it's Chavez. He winds up and drives it down the field towards Luke Tomlinson. Luke Tomlinson pumps the brakes, goes round to the left. Coddington's in front. Chavez comes round. Chavez now on the hook. Takes it away from Tomlinson, does he? No, he's so strong. Luke Tomlinson at the back, and he's going to run away from Chavez here. Got Collington in front. Six goals against six. There's just two black shirts and just the one white. Walton in front of Katie Jenkinson. Going to try and play it to the inside. Waits for Katie to go through the play. She can play that ball. She got the bump perfectly on Walton. As they're hassling. Now she can play the near side backhand. Well done, Katie Jenkinson. She's played well there to take the ball away from the three-goal Walton. Back in defense goes Charlie Walton. Loses out to... Christian Chavez. Now comes Henry Smith. Looks to inject a little bit of pace onto the play out towards the boards on the far side. He's got the run here to get around the outside of Archie Fuller. Archie Fuller pumps the brakes as the ball now will fall to the white shirts of DWF. DWF on the far side. No, Coddington comes through at speed. Luke Tomlinson it is at the back. Little open backhand to himself. Goes for the auto back. Does he pick it up? Yes, he does. Now drives it forward, but he's broken his stick. That's exactly what the AW Jenkinson need. Luke Tomlinson without a stick. Turn it around now, boys. Don't waste your time. On the near side goes Coddington. Coddington's there with... On the offside, where is it? There, Cods has got it now on his offside. Wants to take it around to the left-hand side. Luke Tomlinson's got no stick. Just bring it, Cods. Just bring it. Luke Tomlinson, don't let him get the hook in, though. As comes in comes Walton. Walton on the near side. Picks up the ball well round the corner. Goes Coddington under his pony's neck towards Tomlinson. What's Tomlinson going to do? He's asked for the foul, and he's got the foul. Absolute sacrilege there from Christian Chavez. New... Luke Tomlinson had no stick. Just tried to pick the ball up on the near side at too much angle. We'll see the replay. But Luke Tomlinson knew he was going to get the foul. Waited there with his broken stick in the air. Now he's got it and it'll be a 60 in favour of White. So you see Charlie Walton. Coddington steals it. It goes forward. Big bump from Luke Tomlinson. Wins the ride off. Waits with the ball in front of him. Christian Chavez comes through on the near side. Straight across in front of Luke Tomlinson. So whilst the umpires and third man Dom Lodge decide whether this is a foul or not, um, we would like to take a big thank you to the Emerson family for donating the prizes for today. They've donated the prizes for the 2020 La Emma Polo Tournament. So a big thank you to the Emerson family as Luke Tomlinson takes one tap and gets us back underway. He's got Chavez waiting in front of him, drives the ball down towards Walton, but it's going to be picked up by Coddington. He's there first. No, it comes off the back of a horse. Coddington does well to reach out and bring it back under control, but here goes Walton. Out to the near side boards he goes. Pumps the brakes. No, he goes around the corner quickly with the next shot. Pumps the legs, trying to get around to beat Coddington. Hang to have to switch to the near side. God, it would have been a great goal if he could have picked that up on the near side and headed to goal, but Luke Tomlinson's got control of it. Falls down to six goal. Luke Tomlinson. Luke Tomlinson. 
looking for a little bit of space in front of him. He's got Chavez, goes to the left-hand side, goes past him. Walton gets the block. Tomlinson loses out, but Chavez... Walton's got it. Walton inside the 30-yard line. He'll have to take a goal shot here. It takes one more tap, but that gives Chavez a chance to turn around, and it's gone out over the balls to the right-hand side. I think Walton had to hit that one first time. So back underway, wasting no time here with only three minutes and 48 seconds on the clock. Christian Chavez drives it long down the centre of the field. On a flyer is Henry Smith up over the halfway line. Luke Tomlinson lost sight of him for a moment, but he has managed to get himself back into a strong defensive position here. Luke Tomlinson always in the right areas of the field. Henry Smith, what's he going to do? Try and take on six goal Luke Tomlinson. Go on, Henry, go for it. Make a name for yourself, boy. As he drives it down the field up towards Christian Chavez. Christian Chavez on the near side just gets beaten by the bounce. Under the net goes Luke Tomlinson and round the corner at speed. Look at this pony work for him. Luke Tomlinson on the near side, hooked out by Smith. He's done really well there to keep six gold Tomlinson at bay. Little open backhand from Chavez down into the danger zone. Katie Jenkinson in front of goal will make no mistake at all. She's so good in front of goal. We mentioned it earlier on and she gets her team back within one goal. Three minutes left to play in the fourth jugger. So it looks like they'll give them a free change. It's a hot day here at the Beaufort. Uh, plenty of up and downs with no whistle. So in the benefit of Pony safety, uh, we'll give them a free change. Looks uh, back, Look back at the goal. Little open backhand from Christian Chavez. Opened up for Katie Jenkinson. One shot makes no mistake and puts it straight between the middle. So out to the right-hand side comes Walton. Walton now, next shot down the centre of the field. Back in defence goes Henry Smith. Open backhand. Ooh, it looked like a big foul, but it just gets away with it. Johnny Collington back out towards the boards. Collington, little open backhand. Down towards Chavez. Chavez is going to pick this one up. Chavez. Takes this one forward, round the corner he goes, Luke Tomlinson. Asks for the whistle, doesn't get it this time. Near side backhand by Luke Tomlinson. Back goes Chavez, under his pony's neck, out towards the centre of the field. You're not going to get round the corner though before Johnny Coddington gets there. Johnny Coddington cooled off it now by Smith. Henry Smith comes back to the centre of the field. Well, Pony works hard for him to get round the corner. Henry Smith now drives it down towards Christian Chavez. Christian Chavez beaten out of it by Tomlinson. Tomlinson takes it towards the boards on the far side. He has been lost out now, though, now though to Chavez on the near side. Can't quite straighten it up enough. Luke Tomlinson open backhand towards the centre of the field. And it's picked up by Walton. Not this time, no. Archie Walton. Archie Fuller, sorry. Up towards the halfway line. Gets it back up towards his three-goal compatriot, Walton. Reaching out to the right-hand side goes Charlie Walton. Not sure what he was doing there. He had a whole stick on the wrong side of the horse. But it's picked up by Chavez. Chavez with the ball under control. Just wants to put a little bit of composure back onto the play. We've mentioned it a lot, but it's so important when this gets a bit frantic just to take a moment when you have a chance. But here comes Luke Tomlinson. He does not want to let them get any composure as he takes it away at speed out towards the boards on the near side. Coddington comes through on the near side, takes it away from Tomlinson. Here goes Chavez up towards the 60. Katie Jenkinson's in open space as she knows she tucks in behind Chavez. Chavez winds up with the next shot, puts it inside 30 yards. Back in defence goes Walton, near side backhand. He's had a great game. Charlie Walton, probably be my MVP at the moment. Little open backhand, back into the centre of the field. Turning quickly is Chavez. Chavez turns it around, looks in front of him. He's got Fuller and Tomlinson in front of him. We're going to play it just underneath the horse. And we'll wait. He'll be told to leave it. Now he comes around. No, what's happening here? No one really knows, I don't think. Coddington's got it now, though. On the back line, he's got to have a seriously narrow angle. Not really much he can do with it. Loses out first time. Near side. Couldn't go to the near side, and it will be a spot penalty in favour of DWF.
So the replay just showing there, Cods just lost sight of the ball underneath his pony and had to switch to the near side, losing out to Luke Tomlinson. Luke Tomlinson drives this one long. Out to the right-hand side comes Walton at speed. He'll really stop hard on this one and wait for an option in front of him. He's got Coddington there with him. Luke Tomlinson's in behind. Out to the right-hand side. Luke Tomlinson telling Charlie Walton to wait. Charlie Walton waits. To Tomlinson's got the block on both. Told to hit long now, Charlie Walton down the boards to Archie Fuller. Picks it up at speed, Archie Fuller up towards the 60. He's gonna need a good centering shot here to put it down into the mix. Under his pony's neck he goes. And it's up towards the goal and wide. And that is that, ladies and gentlemen. DWF run out the winners, three goals to two in the final of the La Emma Polo Tournament for 2020. Luke Tomlinson and Charlie Walton leading DWF to the win, the white shirt. We've got a few stats coming up for you now on the progression of the game. So the progression of the game, DWF scoring in every chucker bar the last. Uh, went 1-0 up in the first chucker, two goals to one in favour of DWF. They led the whole way through, 3-1 in the third chuckers when they really put the game to bed and finished it off at three goals to two in favour of DWF. We see them walking off there. Charlie Walton had a great game. He'd be my MVP. Um, but a great game played by DWF. Commiserations to A.W. Jenkinson, but unfortunately it's the age-old thing. Someone has to lose. Two field goals then for DWF. One throw in, one by them. The only one there was. Fouls committed, eight fouls by A.W. Jenkinson. That's really what killed the game for them. No yellow cards, luckily. Uh, penalty each for both sides and no safety penalties. But it was the fouls committed by A.W. Jenkinson cost them the game ultimately. And that was that. So that was the story of the game. DWF will run out the winners of the La Emma Polo Tournament for 2020. So we'll have a quick look back at some of the best goals of the game. This is one early on in the game. This is the only goal we've got, the really good goal from the game with Luke Tomlinson turning the ball around on his own 60-yard line. He takes one look towards goal. He's got Chavez in front, winds up, drives a beautiful long-range effort, just narrowly misses everyone on the left-hand side and sneaks its way inside the left-hand post. And it was a great goal to give his team a little bit of ascension, having just conceded their first goal of the game. Gave them a two-goal gap straight away and DWF were back in control of the game. So thank you very much for tuning in for the final of the La Emma Polo Tournament 2020. We'll be back shortly with the subsidiary final in half an hour's time.